story, the ozone hole that devastated Brazil last summer is apparently wintering in Springfield. Woo! Springfield rock! Somebody! Well, we could play Clam Traffic Jam or the game of County Seats. Aw, the zoning disc is warped. There's got to be something fun in my parents' closet. Want to dress up like ladies? Uh, wouldn't that make us kind of fruity? What's the matter? Scared you might like it? I'll show you who's scared. Hey, where's this door lock? Oh, no, it's Dad. Whoa! What's going on? Clear. Why are you doing that? Oh, it's good for the batteries. Now, I'm afraid your son has cracked his coccyx. <laughs> Do all these people have to watch me? Now, son, this is a teaching hospital, which is why I equipped the seat of your cast with a viewing window. Oh, my. Oh, now that's you something. should exercise more. Principal Skinner, I thought public schools were required to have access ramps for the disabled. Technically, yes, but the building costs would be astronomical. Did I hear the word astronomical? If so, my construction outfit, Valdazzo Brothers Olive Oil, is poised to help. No, 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 no. We're not building anything. How can you say that when construction has already begun? This is a proud day. Now, when people ask if we're in compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1975, I can say we are closer than ever before. What the? Bart, where's your wheelchair? Don't need it anymore. Doctor says my butt bone's stronger than ever. Well, at least we're prepared for the new millennium. The good news is we need no longer fear vicious mob reprisals. But due to lack of funds, Springfield Elementary is closed forever. Yeah! How could you close the school? What will become of our kids? Where are the refreshments? Now you keep asking me that, and I keep telling you over there. We could try selling liquor. Uh, I'm doing great. Please, sir, put some shoes on. What, you don't like my bags? <clears throat> People, these are all good ideas. No, they're not. They're terrible, terrible ideas. Uh, well, maybe we can pry open his wallet with a slick professional pitch. A school play. Hmm. Which one of these is the salt? Too bad I'm an idiot because my school closed. Oh, well. No, that's the red poison. Woo, 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 woo. I can't take Mr. Burns to the hot middle because I'm too dumb to read a map. Oh, why did my school have to close? Mm. Mr. Burns, I'll be honest. We had a hidden agenda tonight. <gasps> no! The holiday season is approaching, and these children need a school. Charity, eh? Yes, I'd be more than happy to... <laughs> hey, our school's on TV. Springfield Elementary has reopened its doors. <gasps> I'm with Jim Hope of Kid First Industries, which has generously stepped in to educate our children. Howdy, children. I'd like to welcome you back to school. You know what? I agree. What? Your old school was boring. That's why it failed, right? Well, we're not going to make you memorize facts and dates. No, no, no. Hey, I'm here to make sure that you get a kick out of education. hi yeah! He's rekindled my love affair with books. You know what our homework is? Find a toy and bring it to class. Boy, that sounds fun. I know, but I'm still not going to do it. Since Christmas is coming soon, I thought we could talk about our favorite toys. What do you like about those toys of yours? They're special. They're challenging. Very good. Now I want you all to imagine the perfect toy. What would it be like? It should never stop dancing. It should need accessories. Now that's market research you can take to the bank. The money bank. I just wish those second graders would stop jerking us around. Fun toys are fun. Lisa, any ideas? Oh, a uh, name with fun? Um, Fungus? Funzo? Attila the Fun? Lisa, are you doing math? Uh, just a few Venn diagrams. Don't you think there's something weird going on here? All I know is I'm getting straight A's, and that ain't not bad. <laughs> That's not funny! Huh? Uh spying on us. Why would they do that? I see you. <gasps> Give me a hug. Bye. This broom
broom closet is not what it seems. It's a secret surveillance room guarded by a tiny evil robot. When you see what's inside, this... <gasps> I don't understand. I could swear it was right here. Yeah, right, Mop Top. And I'm Ed Sullivan. So have a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Quasi Kwanzaa, a Tip Top Tet, and a solemn, dignified Ramadan. Now a word from my god, our sponsor. This Christmas, everybody wants Funzo. Funzo? I said that name in class. Funzo soft and cuddly. With lots of firepower. Bart, they lied to us. Instead of giving us an education, they tricked us into designing a toy. Aren't you outraged? No, but if you're gonna throw a spaz, I'll come with. Good. Saddle up the bikes. You people took advantage of trusting school children. Lisa, I know you're mad, but just for a damn minute, try to see this from a product positioning standpoint. But hey, we did screw you a little, so here's a free funzo. Deal! Yeah, <laughs> brother. Thanks, Funzo. You rock. All righty. It's always a party with Funzo. Hey, it's it. Hey, why is it destroying other toys? They must have programmed it to eliminate the competition. Boycott Funzo! He's a toy killing machine! <laughs> wow. Only 22 seconds from muttering to doorsman. Well, I guess that's it. Come Christmas Eve, there'll be a funzo under every tree. So who am I beating up? Nobody. You're just gonna break into everyone's house and steal their favorite toy. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let Earth receive her King. No. Just dump them in the fire, Dad. Yes, the madness ends here. Oh, if I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. <laughs> well, what do we have here? Your toy company is evil. Well, isn't it possible for an evil company to make people happy? Are you saying the end justifies the means? I think what Lisa meant to say is... And so... Gary Coleman and the Simpsons argued long into the night. Amen. In yeah. Amen. Amen. Love. Hey, look out! Yeah. Hey, Dad, what do you think of... Would you like to spend Christmas with us? No way. I'm having Christmas at George Clooney's house. Gary. All right, I'll come. While Mo, seeing what the world would be like if he had never been born, pulled his head out of the oven and replaced it with a plump Christmas goose. Yeah, happy holidays, Dad.